Mr. Well, well played. Are these the best six batsmen in Pakistan? Ms. Bhatt? Yeah. Are these the best six batsmen in Pakistan? <laughs> I hope so. When we came here, uh, obviously, uh, we thought that this is the best lot. And these guys are really performing uh, for Pakistan. Uh, Ms. Bhatt? I have two questions. Uh, one, how frustrating is it for you as captain as a senior, and as, as the senior batsman to, to bat over there and see all the wickets falling apart, you know, the innings are falling apart time and again? Uh, it's really difficult, uh, disappointing because uh, even in the mid it was less than six and over and that was very much like a Pakistani pitch. You, you, you played time and time over on these sort of pitches. so. It's not a match. Uh, you can say that wicket was difficult. I think again, it's the application how our batsmen just uh, applying themselves and not getting runs. And also Shoaib Malik, like uh, being a senior batsman, given a chance at number four in, in a difficult situation, doing nothing again. Do you think he he merits a position in the team? <laughs> I mean, uh, you definitely. Uh, think about this after the tournaments, after once once uh, series is over. But I think at the moment nobody is just justifying uh, the place in the team, and nobody is just getting runs for Pakistan. Miss Bar, um, a very good support from the crowd here in Birmingham. Were you disappointed not to give them a win that they obviously wanted so much? Yeah, it is really disappointing. Two games on the trot and the team could not score 170 uh, looks like an a Asian pitch uh, you're used to of playing on these pitches really disappointing explain from from your time out in the middle there why it was so difficult to uh, to get the scoring rate uh, going more quickly I think uh, they were bowling uh, well and they got momentum you just keep on losing because it's really difficult whenever we thought that we now uh, going to take a chance. I think we just lost uh, wicket, keep on losing wickets and I think that, that was the reason that we could not just pick the run rate up. Ms. Bhai, you changed your opening combination in South African series. Hafiz was opening with Nasir Jamshed. Here you uh, put Hafiz on the one down position. Imran Farhat was came uh, came back into the team. Do you think he has been playing uh, international cricket since 2001, Imran Farah? And uh, he is in and out of the team. Did he justify his selection in Pakistan team as an opener? I think uh, the idea was that because uh, he, he got chance in Sri Lanka, he got 50 in the last game and then he came to South Africa. He played well in the test match and then when we just given him chance in that ODI, he got 93 against South Africa. So th that was the reason that he played well and we just keep on uh, going with that. And we were also having problems at number three, so we decided to just put Hafiz at number three. Uh, but I think uh, it's also, it worked uh, in Ireland and it worked in the practice game, but it's not working at the moment. Ms. Bay, you were chasing a relatively small total. Um, we saw some late order hitting from uh, Wahab Riaz. Was the idea of a uh, pinch hitter or promoting Kamran Akmal uh, perhaps up the order uh, thought about during the innings break? I think everything was, uh, you can say, if uh, you look at the average, uh, everything was in control till Nasir Jimshed got out. It wasn't above six. And then suddenly Nasser got out and then you, you are under pressure when you just lose uh, one of the set batsmen. And then I think again Omar Amin got out and then we keep on losing wickets. No, at no place we were really just uh, having a good partnership. That's the reason. We don't uh, get any sort of momentum at the top. Even we lost three, four wickets at the top and the run rate was less than two. So these sort of uh, situations really, um, I mean, it's really difficult when uh, your batting is just performing like that. Um, Ms. Bhatt, Omar Amin's inclusion today, was that because you were just missing an all-rounder in the sort of, after Karman Akmal, do you think he's sort of better than Asad Shafiq in the condition? I think Asad, uh, last three, four innings uh, could not deliver and even he struggled against South Africa, that's why. And we, we were also uh, keeping in view this, that they might play 
uh, another left-hander. So that was also a reason to add a left-hander in the middle order. So And he played uh, uh, well against South Africa in the last game. That's why we just added him. With Niyadad working with Pakistan batsmen in Aptabad, and here you guys have had a, a specialist coach in Trent Woodhill. Uh, but still we have seen that there is no improvement in batting. In fact, it is worse than before. Don't you th think that it's a case of too many cooks are spoiling the food? <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, whoever comes uh, to the team works to, uh, works to improve uh, certain things. Uh, at the end of the day, I think it's it's you as a batsman or as a player, uh, how to apply things. And I think all responsibility at the end comes to the players because you are the one who, who needs to perform. Hello, Mr. Um, there were some boos there at the presentation which seemed to be aimed towards you. Do, you. do you have any message for the supporters? What can I say? This is the game of cricket. One day... Uh, it's Zindabad, next day it's Boo. So, supporters are like that. Uh, I already said uh, in a press conference that this is how things are. I mean, when you, you perform well, everybody appreciates you. When you do these sort of performances, I think they have the right to say this. Ms. Um You've played the South Africans a lot lately over the past few months, and you played them just the other day at the Oval. Do you think they're improving into a side who could possibly win this tournament? They are a very good side. Uh, I think they, 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 they are capable of winning that. I mean, in, in one day cricket, especially these eight teams, all are good enough to win that tournament. And South Africa at the moment, they are really playing good cricket. So they, they, they are having a chance to win that. Yeah. Uh, Mr. My question is, uh, you are asking that uh, we are not justified, but you are justified. We are looking some coach here sitting uh, and we can ask how he was cooking. But my question is, uh, do you agree with my, I mean, that uh, the two matches against West Indies and against South Africa, Pakistan team was playing with six or seven players? <laughs> yeah, after a bad performance, you can say that. But what, what you can say after... I mean, if somebody is not delivering, this is also part of the game. But I think as a team, the players need to just uh, take responsibility. And if 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 you you are not uh, uh, delivering as a player, ultimately the team gonna suffer. Miss Bay, you're saying some days people don't perform, other, other other days they do. Unfortunately, the batsmen haven't performed for many years. Yet they keep being selected. How does Pakistan cricket get out of this mess with the batting? I think whenever you do performances like uh, that, people got dropped and you, you brought some other batsmen. But I think it's, it's the major problem over the years for Pakistan. And we need to just uh, address this. Uh, I've already said this in South Africa that you need, if you want to really improve uh, your nursery, your batsmen, you just have to plan something about that. And one suggestion was that, that you just send your players you know, who are lined up for Pakistan to Australia, South Africa, England, to just to play first-class cricket like that. Uh, because whenever Pakistan team comes to England, South Africa, Australia, they struggle uh, because of the different conditions. And this is this is one way uh, you can arrange more A uh, teams uh, tours. This is one area we really have to look forward. Otherwise, I think it it will just keep on happening like that. Last two questions, uh, uh, Ms. Bai, I'm sure you must be aware that uh, Pakistan are grooming Mohammad Hafiz as, as the next captain for ODIs and test matches. Like, Hafiz has, has been pretty unsuccessful against top teams. Do you think Pakistan will be in sa safe hands once he's captain? I mean, <laughs> I can't say anything about one of my colleagues like that. Uh, he's been performing... Uh, for Pakistan in batting last year he was one of the top scorers and he's also bowling well in the top four 
So I think it it is being the consistent, uh, you can say, problem for Pakistan. I mean, not only Hafiz, most of your tro- top order batsmen, and even middle or uh, middle order batsmen, they are struggling. Whenever we come to South Africa, England, so, um, Australia, I think it, it it is like that, and we we have to address that on permanent basis. Last question for us. Uh, a lot of negatives from these two matches. Any positives, anything that you think we've gained in the last few days? I think uh, the positive is your bowling. I mean, they really, really bowling very well. Uh, your fielding is really improving. Uh, that's the biggest positive. But as a batting unit, I think you can say it's total lost. Ms. Bob will take three questions in, in, in Urdu only. Anyone? Yeah. Just three questions, please. Okay. Ms. Bob, here we have a lot of talk टीम ना कि बैटिंग ना काम हो रही है आपने कहा कि फैंस के लिए यही है कि एक दिन हीरो होते हैं और एक दिन जीरो होते हैं लेकिन ये एक दिन नहीं था ये पूरा टूर्नामेंट था और सीक्वेंस था और आज मेरा ख्याल है आप ब्रिमिंगम में नहीं खेल रहे थे कजाफी स्टेडियम लाहौर में खेल रहे थे तो क्या फैंस कसूरवार आपको लगते हैं इतना तो वो डिजर्व करते हैं कि आपसे उम्मीद रखें कि आपसे नहीं आपकी टीम से उम्मीद रखें कि बैट्समैन कुछ परफॉर्म करें बिल्कुल मैंने पहले कहा है कि इस पिच पे इस किस्म की कंडीशंस में इस किस्म का स्कोर पाकिस्तान टीम को चेज करना चाहिए था और बिल्कुल वो सही है मैंने वही कहा कुछ बू बू की जो आवाजें हैं वो सही लगा रहे हैं कि जब आप गंदा खेलेंगे तो मेरा ख्याल में कोई भी आपको अप्रिशिएट नहीं करेगा और स्पेशली एक मैच होता है लेकिन हमने तो जिस तरह की आज की पिच थी मेरे ख्याल में दो कोई बड़ा स्कोर नहीं था करना चाहिए था हमें विकेट कीपिंग के हवाले से पाकिस्तान स्ट्रगल कर रहा है कामरान अकमल को आपने ड्रॉप किया और दीगर लोगों को लाए जुलकरनैन हैदर अदनान अकमल मोहम्मद सलमान आप समझते हैं कि आप मुतमिन हैं कामरान अकमल की परफॉर्मेंस से क्योंकि उनको उनकी कीपिंग के बजाय उनकी बैटिंग पर प्रेफर किया जाता है और जिस तरह से वो दोनों मैचेस में नाकाम रहे क्या आप मुतमिन हैं उनकी परफॉर्मेंस से देखें अभी जाहिर है एक कामरान नहीं कोई भी नहीं परफॉर्म कर पा रहा बैटिंग टोटली फ्लॉप है और मेरे ख्याल में एक बहुत बड़ा कंसर्न है हमारे लिए इसमें मेरा सवाल यह है कि इस टूर्नामेंट के दौरान आपको यूनस खान का दूसरा जो अकमल कब आई है दूसरा उसकी या शायद अफरीदी की कभी महसूस हुई है ड्यूरिंग टू मैचेस खास कर यूनस के बारे में बताएंगे वो सीनियर प्लेयर थे उन्होंने काफ़ी खेला आई थिंक यूनस खान का भी लास्ट ओवर या पूरा एक साल जो वन डे परफॉर्मेंस थी वो आउट ऑफ फॉर्म थे बहुत ज़्यादा प्रेशर था उन पर रनस नहीं कर पाए जितनी भी सीरीज़ वो खेले उसमें उनसे परफॉर्म नहीं हुआ ये एक रीज़न थी जिसकी वजह से मेरे ख्याल में आ, ये चेंज की गई अदरवाइज यूनस खान हमेशा से पाकिस्तान के लिए जो भी उसकी परफॉर्मेंसेज हैं वो एज अ मेन प्लेयर पाकिस्तान के लिए बहुत कुछ उसने किया हुआ है लेकिन रिसेंटली क्योंकि प्रेशर बिल्ड हुआ था परफॉर्मेंस बिल्कुल नहीं हो रही थी इस वजह से शायद ये डिसीजन लिया गया उमर अकमल का भी मेरे ख्याल में यही वजह थी कि पीछे काफ़ी अरसे से उससे परफॉर्मेंस नहीं हो रही थी अभी जो वहाँ पे टूर्नामेंट भी हुआ है टी और वन डे जो पाकिस्तान में उसमें भी उससे बिल्कुल रन नहीं हुए जिसकी वजह से प्रेफर किया गया उमर अमीन को जिसने काफ़ी परफॉर्म किया था वहाँ पे तो आई थिंक ये एक रीज़न थी मेरे ख्याल में जब भी आप कोई भी प्लेयर सेलेक्ट करते हैं और वो नहीं परफॉर्म करते तो फिर आप अब दोबारा सोचते हैं कि जी वो अगर होता तो परफॉर्म तो ये ये सिलसिला चलता रहता है जाहिर है सिलेक्शन कमेटी या जो भी आ, एक टीम सिलेक्शन कमेटी है वो किसी को चांस दे सकती है लेकिन परफॉर्म प्लेयरों ने करना थैंक यू हाशिम हमला विल जॉइन अस शॉर्टली